And welcome back to Clavicus' Evil Place of Geodor Genesis New Horizons, December 2022 edition. Where Clavicus will destroy all life. And this is Shard 26, episode 10. And I'm certain of that one. I've got my episode numbers better. Maybe I had a little bit of a break. It does some um, good things. So I've got, I've got a bit of a croaky voice um, this morning. But hopefully that doesn't uh, get away too much. Anyway, let's get right into it, hey. Um, so what's what's going on? Astas. Why was Astas going here? That's right. I was going to have a. I was going to see whether he can kill this vampire. That's a very risky move. Um, vamp, I mean, vampires get incorporeality at um, level 10 so no, at level 9 um, I was looking this up I'll look this up straight after the other game but anyway, so we go there and then what Larson was gonna go here <laughs> I don't even remember what this is and then um Ellerin oh yes Ellerin is moving here so explore all right let's enter Okay. Um. Okay, I was expecting this to be more scary. <laughs> Let's attack. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, two berserkers uh, isn't exactly what we want. I think it would be important to try and take them out before they can get to us. Also, having a shit healer um, it's going to be problematic as well. Like, exactly, like this guy's already so damaged. <coughs> now, I mean, something like that could potentially be better. Now what's this, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think this guy will be able to shoot him. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm gonna need, need one of these dudes here. Um, I'm gonna need one barbarian in the front line, which isn't the greatest. Now this guy's got a rate, uh, got a defense of three, defense three, 27. 26, yeah. So I think something like this is probably a good setup. <coughs> and um, let's start the battle. But uh, I'm actually quite scared, to be honest. Alright. <coughs> um. Mm. So, if I poison the water, that would do them some damage. But is that a... I think that might be enough to get them raging. Um, and when they're raging, they hit way harder. So we'll raise a false alarm instead. <coughs> Hi. So he's got agility. So I'm thinking, like these dudes, you know, they are hit with 10, these guys. I only hit with 15. Not actually that scary. So he is with a 14. Probably do about 12 damage. Let's 
not very much, is it? I don't have Forrest moving on him. Some heal this dude up anyway. Um, okay, he's got a good ranged. Okay. Okay. This should be it. Oh. Uh. Now he's going to be in range, this, this dude, though. Thirty-five. <coughs> Sorry about that, I don't mean to, um, cough into the microphone. Um. I don't know whether to take out these guys or where to focus my fire uh, on the scarier ones. <sighs> Man, I could. Nah. Yeah. Um. Wow, that did fuck all damage. It really did fuck all damage. Uh, I think. Maybe I was right um, to be scared. <sighs> All right, <let's>... <coughs> okay, so this guy seems to be on a mission to get himself killed, which is not good. So, fuck. I mean, there's a very small chance that this will kill this dude. No, that's what I expected. Would have been great if it had killed him. Now, what's my range? Five, one, two, three. So I could. I really actually need. <clears throat> I guess I need to need him as a front line. Oh. This guy hits way too hard. Um, I need to move up. I'm going to shoot this dude. Okay, that's good. And that wiping off their stamina, meaning that they're going to hit way um, less hard. <laughs> <clears throat> One, two, three, four, fuck. So I was just taking some medication, hopefully, mean that I'll stop coughing all over the microphone. Um, yeah, so this guy really does seem to want to get himself killed. As things stand at the moment, this dude will probably hit him. So he'll hit him with an eight. Doing seven damage. So he'll be on 10, and he'll die. Then probably he'll come along and hit him. We have a 20 damage. What the? No, where did I get 20 from? I don't know where I got 20 from. With a 12, um, and that should be enough to kill him. And this guy can also shoot him. So 
So things are things are not looking good um, for the longevity of this dude. And I don't I don't really see any way of preventing that, to be honest. Oh, that makes me very unhappy. Now, if I move this guy up here, then he's going to be, then he can be hit by all of these. So I don't, I don't think moving them is smart. I could move this guy to here, but then and this dude to here, but then still this guy will be hit by all three of these. So I think potentially. It's probably better not to move these dudes. And I move this guy forwards and we'll heal this dude. And I don't know. Let's um, end turn there. Okay. Okay, so this guy did not die, then blocked the um, berserker. Um, for being able to hit him, which meant that not enough damage was dealt to kill. And as you can probably tell, I'm quite happy with that. Now, how am I gonna somehow save everybody here? That's the question. So he's only hitting him with six. He's not raging yet. So this guy, yeah, because of his low stamina, he's not doing that much damage. Okay, I've got webs. Ah, I need to remember to use me webs. <coughs> yes, okay. Kill that, that dude like that. Now I don't, I don't like locking this this guy in. It doesn't look like we've got much choice in the matter at the moment. Um, now I want to somehow cycle this dude back here. Now I can either to get in range of this healer, so I can either. Move him to there and move this guy back, or move this dude down and move him back here. Um, I don't want to damage this dude because I don't want him hitting any harder. And um, the same goes as this berserker. So I think the only person I, that I should shoot. Um, is this berserker here? So we'll move this forwards. <coughs> we'll shoot that berserker. So this berserker hitting with a twelve um, is still a. I yeah, know it's a it's a substantial risk. He's been crippled, so he can only move one. But that. Only last I can't remember the mechanics of this game. Is that, is that going to wear off? That's probably going to wear off before. Yeah, it's going to wear off before his turn, so he's still going to be able to move two. Now, he's got agility as well, right? Hi. 
Um, I've got a lot of, a lot of health. This guy's got low stamina as well, so maybe I don't need to worry so much about his shootings. So I reckon. So, so he does 15, and he does 13. That's 26. Okay. All right. So we should be able to kill this dude. So, what we're gonna do? To do that, I'm gonna move to here. We're gonna move this guy back, and we're gonna heal him. And then we're gonna let's see, move his agility. Oh, I can't move into. Oh, I thought I'd be able to move there, but no, of course. That's all right. That's all right. But I still do a bit of damage shooting, so okay. So we can do this. All right. <coughs> All right. Things are things are working out okay. So. I've got a few options for me now, here. I can shoot this person. Killing them. Removing But that's effectively removing 12 points of damage from the game. Uh, from the game, from, from the fight. Now, this person here can do 16 points of damage. And, um... I could web them. So that removes 16 points of damage. And they can effectively hit the same the same dudes. Right now I'm liking my position of my hero being here because he can he could tank all three of these and be okay. Thinking the smarter play here is to web this person. Remove their 16 points of damage. He'll come down here and probably hit me, hit hit me. He, this berserker, will come down. So that'll do nine points of damage to me. So I'll still be on like fourteen. Is my ass no um, 12 which then I don't see them doing 12 damage and I'm out of range for everything else so let's do it shall we oh I could also dash <laughs> no let's web okay excellent let's end turn Okay, things kind of went as predicted. I actually thought, that, um, assumed, I didn't calculate it clearly, assumed that his um, retaliation would have killed him, but no, it didn't, and he went Burko. But this guy is out of ammo, so we don't have to, we don't have to care about the shaman anymore. <coughs> uh, this dude can't hit back, so he's looking mighty fine for um, the hittings. Let's heal this guy up. Worried about okay, only hits for seven still. Worried a little bit about him coming down here and smacking me. Um, here, so just stop that. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna move up with this. 
Yep. Yeah, um, I've got. Yeah, I'm gonna move up to here, and then I'm gonna cast another web on this dude to keep him webbed up. We're gonna run him off there. Now, I don't want to damage this person, just make him rage, so we'll shoot them. Let's move that to there. Let's end turn. Beautiful. I'm a little bit worried about this vampire. <laughs> That I'm already over there. I'm already thinking about the next fight. Uh, it might be a stupid thing to do. Oh, I've got no ammo, so I want him to meditate. Probably should have walked around once and then allow this guy to get involved in the fight. Um, change weapon to me bastard sword. Go fuck him up. Victory! Ooh, I'm pretty happy with all of that. It was I definitely had to think my way through. Um, but yeah, we'll take that. Looting. Looting. I thought for some reason I couldn't get looting. I, need, I am an adventurer. So I'm taking this looting. 100%. Um, we'll go hit points. We'll go resistance. Alright, we've taken over battle steps. Oh, I'm not fighting the vampire this turn. Oh, I had to move there. <laughs> I thought I was going to fight the vampire. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to have my sugar-free solo. Give me a moment. Okay, so... I don't need to get the, um, the world's best guard, probably a horde. Um, that's what I was doing before, eh? Hordes are good, because they generate that income for you and that sort of jazz. They're all just discontent at me. Fuck you. Now you can be very discontent. We'll build a mill. <gasps> we'll build, um... Got a pub. Now what have we got? Brigands and bandits. Well, both of these... Are Probably good for Astas. Maybe Astas doesn't need to fight that. <laughs> fight a vampire that may kill him. They're content, so let's enchant a cough of these bastards. Alright, so um Elrin can explore and Okay, so Larton. Larton, Larton, Larton. I do want to sort of head off this way. There we go. We can significantly... Um, okay, so if I get an Adept in here as well... Um, that's going to be super powerful. 
Is he rank two? Rank two, yeah. So we'll get an adept as well. And then I'm pretty happy with like the, the ranged power of me army. Um, I think I need to go back here to switch out to put my depth in. So we'll, we'll move back there. might be really loose of me. Let's go attack the vampire. Or the vampires. Um, not really sure. Could be multiple. Alright, so yes, explore, move back, attack vampy. Um, I've built my shit. I've got, I've got a guard. I'm still... Oh! No, end turn. I was going to say I'm still waiting to um, build a, uh, a, but a citadel or whatever in the capital. Anyway, continue exploring. One vampire. It all just depends whether he's gaseous or not. <laughs> all right, let's attack. He is a level three, so he's not gaseous. Good movement, say. Ooh, look at that damage! <laughs> that was not loose at all. I whooped that vampire's ass. What shoes and an iron ring? Aren't you meant to get good stuff from a vampire? I don't know. All right, cool. So we're gonna hire some troops. We'll get the um adept. What's, what's the upkeep? Look at that fucking upkeep. Eleven. That's all right. I can afford it. Now. I don't see myself getting a level three um, any time soon, do I? Probably not. So I think it might be prudent if I build a Swamp Trappers Guild. And then we'll get one of these things, so... Do I want a giant spider, or do I want a giant slug? Now both fit into my army really well. You know, the, the spider will give me some webs. The giant slugs will also just give me more ranged. Um, anyway, we'll repair everything. Um, we'll go for the spider. So 
So we'll get the spire into our army. Now, we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna fight these people, and then we're gonna move on Dario. What have we got going on here? Ooh, there's more vampires. More vampires, all right. We can attack the vampires. Um, I guess we'll explore one more turn. And then I'll probably move um, Ellerin back, you know, back to here, just to be in this, you know, the second rung where he might actually find stuff that isn't going to kill him straight away. So that's everything done, or not everything done. I can build. So we'll get a tavern. And now storehouses are super bomb. Now. Bomb being good bomber. Let's build a storehouse. I mean, they're pretty shit when you when you can't up, when you haven't upgraded them. Yeah. Okay. We'll go to storehouse. All right. Let's end turn. Uh, wait for new orders. Okay, we've got one vampire attack. What level is this guy? Who knows? He is level... One. Ha! Huh. Mate, I just killed your mate who was much stronger than you. Only this guy survives longer. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Precise strike and more parry. I mean, that's pretty good. Athletics four is. It's all pretty good, really. I have a f I feel that, like, will you know, um, magic resistance is kind of where it's dropping down. So let's go willpower, too. Um, no mad bow and an iron ring. Now, again, not overly great stuff. I already fully built everything there. Okay, so we're going to move him back there, as I said. Um, now, let's have a look while he's here. Yeah, I probably don't really want to fight any of them. Um, but I do want to fight these dudes, so he can come down here. Make sure there's no... Ooh, there's undead and dead. Oh, that's right. These are really powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I still need to kill swordsmen. All right. Um, yeah, so he comes down here, he moves up here. Latan attacks the unsuspecting halfling village. Sounds good to me. Um, although they're probably going to be pretty powerful, eh? Alright, let's end turn. <clears throat> we shall attack. So, normal range of five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll, we'll put him up here.
Let's do something like that. Maybe it's something like that. So I can heal up both of these dudes. Maybe even something like this. There we go. We'll get this spy down here. He can walk into the forest and get extra range defense. And then he's got an ability to web things. So even if he gets two things coming up here, he can still make it a one-on-one -on -one fight. That's my thoughts about that. And we will... Um, uh, I mean, false alarm just seems so good, but... Alright, let's do something that's different. Let's poison the water. At least it will make these dudes probably use up their healing spells or something. Okay, so he can move forwards. This guy. I don't know. Actually, I have to think about that. Alright, let's have a look. Good range. Magic defense. Everyone's got good magic defense. Oh, look at that damage! We're here with a 15. If I move to here... Wait, you can only move two. Oh, we can only move two. Ah, got nothing to worry about then. Alright. I won't finish that sentence. I think it's probably best if I hold these back so they don't get a free hit off on me. Damaged aura. This unit's aura has been damaged, it's resistance to stick. Okay, so I should have shot with this guy first because he's got the. Um... Uh, what? What? <clears throat> ah, yeah. Resist yeah, because he's got the astral ammo. Alright, we'll just heal up this dude. How do you move two? They're super shit. Alright. Let's just end turn. Holy fudge! Was that my level 15 guy? Holy fuck! All these ranged attacks, I think, holding back. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I lost the barb. That does not make me happy. In fact, it makes me very unhappy. And it's like everyone's got a ranged attack, eh? Hey? That's the danger. I don't see see them surviving.
Well, that city's got to survive here. This dude's surviving either, eh? All these people I do not see surviving. So the only only dudes that can do damage now are these ones. This guy's locked up, so I don't really need to care too much. <clears throat> I think I think most of the damage is done. So, um, I'm gonna web him again, just to take him out of the fight. Run this guy away. So this has been a very costly, very costly fight for me. made it's level 15 which means I can turn him into a berserker okay we'll take two, two stamina okay um, hit points attack mm. all right so we already got heaps of resistance we'll go energy control Go counter attack. I made some money. Excellent. Why so little? Okay. Now I'm not sure. I'm not sure that in my current state. I could fight that. Damn it, what a what a loss, eh? Let's um Let's 
some mercenaries. That's what they are. Let's do that. Let's go mercenary guild. Mainly because I want to try and get better mercs. Um, so that I can replace um, my army with better things than what I had. That's the plan there. Well, Chalice of Life, this army. Just because, you know, I'm pretty hurt and I've lost my healer. Which is not good. So we're getting a Mercenary Guard. Or we'll get the Imperial Guard. Thing is, like the Imperial Guard would be good in a choke point. Um, because then, you, you know, you could know that you're... You're definitely, um... Blocking them off. But... As things stand, I could just go dunk. And then it's like, they'll just bypass my Imperial Guard, so... I reckon Mercenaries for now. Um, is a nice middle ground. We'll go a mill. And we'll go a pub. And we will... Let's just repair everything. See why I didn't attack this before? Because you just can't, couldn't control. Well, maybe I did. Maybe that was one of my reversions. I, I don't know. You just can't control all of those ranged dudes just pelting shit at you. Oh, I can get a level two spell, so I can get like a, a stone crust or stone skin or, or whatever. So that will be, yeah, that's really good. Um, but anyways, let's attack the brigands. Oh. Brigands. Let's attack the bandits. It's possible that um, Ellerin might be able to fight those brigands, actually. It just depends what they are. Um, we'll keep Ellerin exploring anyway. We'll go fight the bandits. Um, so I don't want to push on in just yet. I do need to, I need to replenish, um, or maybe I should build a fort. Okay, I can probably drop down a fort here next, next turn. So we'll stay here. Um, okay, let's have a look at this knightly order. There's probably going to be some swordsmen in this knightly order. It might be way too powerful for me as well. That's a strong possibility too. Now, I don't think I'm going to do this quest, this Raise Vampire quest, because I've got Ellerin the Necromancer here, and if I can get that spell, that would be super powerful. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, explore. Go there. Go there. Um, I've built shit. I've done everything. Uh, I've cast a spell. Let's end turn. Alright, we found an abandoned farm, which is not abandoned because there are horse archers and horsemen. We will retreat. Brigand thief, renegade, assassin, we will attack. Come here, you punces. Double shooting me. You bastards! Oh. If 
he died, move forwards, and then he done that, he would have got a bit of sabot on me. Oh, oh. Force march, dead. Now I can make a deal with him, I think. Oh, we're gonna chant it well, which will be quite nice. And we'll make a deal with the thieves. Alright, so we've got a knight, a swordsman, a pikeman, a crossbowman, a monk, and a swordsmaster. Now, I reckon I should be able to deal with them alright, eh? <laughs> Although my dudes are, are hurt, and I don't have a healer. <sighs> I should be able to deal with them, surely. I don't know. Yeah, see, look at that. They've already gone there. So it's a good job I didn't drop down that more powerful guard. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we know there's, there's one of everything. Let's just retreat. <laughs> um, I feel like I, I should have probably taken that, that battle, to be honest. I'm just going to invest the minimum and send it to our border. I don't really want to invest stuff at the moment. I really just want to build things to get level threes. Okay, so here we need to um, improve this guard. So it's probably the mercenaries. Um. I mean, this is the militia. I'm assuming this is the like. Can I even can I even make a militia? No, I can't even put down a militia. I'm assuming this is this is the militia that like um, I probably bribed bribed them or something. And so you know, it won't be a really really weak militia. At the same time, probably won't be as strong as mercenaries. Alright, we'll build. Huh? We build everything. What are the, what are the three? Is there a. Ah, oh, there's a storehouse here. <laughs> that you can base, basically not see. Okay, so let's let's revise this. Ah. Ah, oh, yes, here. I was going to build an outpost. And we'll drop in a brigand. Okay, we don't really want to put a brigand in because it will decrease the income. So we'll drop a barbarian down. Although the, the halfling over time will cost less than the barbarian. So we get the local hero of the halfling. It's not very happy with me. <laughs> Alright, so let's go see these adventurers eh? Let's see what we're up against. Alright, see, we'll go to the brigands, see what we're up against there. He can keep on exploring. And we'll end turn. A monolith. Which hunter with a smiting hand will retreat? Gang leader, brigand thief, renegade, assassin, we will attack. There's a lot of them this time, eh? Stand a chance. 
Not a chance. Attacking me with Probably because my range defense higher than my defense, so he had more chance of damaging me by punching me um, rather than shooting me. What a funny renegade. But there's two points of damage difference between his shoot and his punch, so it didn't work at all. Plate gaulers and gifts of the earth. Elf dwarf, halfling monk, thief, sorcerer, fairy, jewelist. Ah, ah look, I'm just gonna retreat. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. Maybe I need to move on this Alkaris before he gets there. <laughs> Can I build anything that's going to give me more experience for me dudes? I mean, I can, but I can't afford it, so I guess that's a no. It's this bandit. I guess we'll go. We'll get a bandit. And we'll go healer. Now I want to heal up. I, I definitely want to heal up. Great enchanted coffer. Now we can keep on exploring now. Asters. Ah, uh, sorry. Um. Uh, we need to sell some of this stuff. Don't want it. Don't want it. Don't want it. Um. Don't want it. Oh. Yeah. Don't want it. Don't wanna Don't wanna Repair everything Now Is it worth getting the commander's medal? Probably not to be honest. That would just be spending money for the sake of it. For the sake of spending it. Might as well sell this. Be able to take this nightly order. Surely, hey. We'll go to the nightly order. Um, we'll keep exploring. What am I going to do with Asters? I 
wonder how we would go against all of this. I might, I might do it right. Let's just have a look. I'm going to, um, the death touch I'm especially scared about, but we'll go Eudorapedia. And we'll have a look. So, units. Death touched. I mean, I think they're good at, like, sort of mass kills and... You know, it does have, like, a high... Does do a lot of high amount of magic damage. It's also a Lord of the Dead. Which Lord of the Dead. All undead raised by the units will be higher level. That's right, so you can just hunt higher. Yeah, um as strong as Astas might be. I think maybe it might be a little bit loose to send him off. Um, to see about um, killing them. However, I reckon I can kill those uh, the dudes in this major tower. But I wanna. Oh no, I just did repair everything. We'll come here. We'll kill the things in this major tower uh, because I don't want to do their quest. Their their quest is not nice. Let's, let's have a look. So, Necromancer's Guild. Sage's... Oh, what's... Um, Necromancer's Guild. So, this is the highest... I don't... It looks like I don't have a, a building above the Necromancer's... Oh, wait. No. Haunted Cemetery. Yes. Um, gives access to the, the Necromancer's Guild. What? Am I going around in circles? Have I already got a Necromancer's Guild? What is this? No, I can, I can build a Necromancer's Guild. And if I do that, I don't get raised vampire yet. So, and I don't think I've got the level three. Of, I haven't researched the level three of this um, by the looks of things, because it would say gives access to here if I did. So, the long ramblingness of that was to say, I'm not going to get raised vampire in any other way other than finding it on the map and I don't want to give it to these dudes because I want to give it to Ellerin so I'm gonna deliberately not go through that quest and I think this is it um, for this turn I'm gonna leave everything like this this turn this turn ends this episode thank you very much for joining me this has been um, Shard 26 episode 10 of Clavicus's Eve with playthrough of Eodor Genesis New Horizons December 2022 edition where Clavicus is going to destroy all life. Peace!